Ang mapapakinggan po nating featured song sa umaga ito ay isang original worship song composed by Pastor David Matthews. Sa mga nakakakilala po kay Pastor David, siya po ay isang missionary at pastor. At ito nga po ang kwento sa likod ng awiting na composed niya. Ayon kay Pastor David, this song was actually composed when he was still in the U.S. seeking God's will for his life. He was actually going through a rough time because he had a lot of trials. He was facing a um, mountain of trials at that time. He had a relationship that he expected to lead to marriage, but it had fallen through. So his career was also uncertain. And though he wanted to serve the Lord, there were no doors that were open that time and he actually had to leave his family and his friends to go to uh to california to look for a job and it was about 1500 kilometers away from his city colorado so para sa panahon yun parang maraming trials so many things seemed to be wrong according to pastor david so one morning while he was in california he found himself so discouraged and he did not know what to do parang din po tayo minsan actually maraming beses hindi natin alam sometimes what we need to do or what should we do and he was um asking god so while he was discouraged and he doesn't know what to do he did not know what to do so po ay nanalangin sa panginoon because he knows that god knows his past present and future and in his prayer he made a li list of things in his mind that he thought he needed and he was asking god for it to be happy in order to be happy pero yun nga po in his uh, list he included things like finding a stable job um kasama da din yung magkaroon siya ng maraming kaibigan and he was also praying for a relationship because his heart was uh, broken at that time and he was also praying for a purpose his life to know his life purpose and he remembered also asking god to help him laugh again because uh, for a while he had forgotten how so he then took that list out and he went to a hill in southern california and in solitude siya po ay nanalangin and he laid out those lists those requests to god and while he was doing that while he was meditating, the Lord um, convicted and uh, siya po ay binigyan ng verse. So, uh, the Lord uh, brought a verse into his mind and that was Psalm 27 verse 4, which reads, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. So in a moment, when he was praying and uh, in his heart, he heard the Lord telling him, David, you are seeking too many things. Only one is necessary. Just seek me. Wow, this statement is so striking. And I think it, this is not just a reminder to Pastor David this morning. A lot of us are seeking for many things. Uh, we would like to see so many things to happen. But uh, ano nga ba, if there is just one thing that we should seek, sana maging kagaya din tayo ni David in the Bible and Pastor David Matthews. Uh, who would also listen to God when God speaks to our heart and uh, when He tells us that perhaps we are seeking so many things but only one thing is necessary and that is to seek Him. 
So in that moment, sabi ni Pastor David, it was like the rays of the early morning sun transformed his life and he realized right then that if God was all that I uh, seek, I would never be disappointed. And he would always be there. God will always be there for him even if nothing else on his list was ever given. Wow, sana nga po maging uh, uh, ganun din po ang ating adhikain sa ating buhay that whether God would give what we are desiring here on earth, whether He gives it or not, sana po manatili po tayong seeking the Lord, seeking His presence, and I believe that He will really transform our perspective in our life. And sabi nga ni Pastor David, And now, if anything was ever given, it would just be an extra to the most important thing of knowing Christ. Oo nga naman, bonus na lang kung ipagkaloob sa atin ng Panginoon yung mga bagay na hinihingi natin tulad ng uh, stable job, a partner in life, to have a... Uh, real friends in life but the most important thing is that we have Jesus Christ so that morning pastor david decided to make christ and christ alone the center of his life at sana sa umaga ito ganun din po tayo let us decide to make christ and make christ alone the center of our lives and when he did that the most amazing thing happened, according to Pastor David. Within months, everything on his list had been given to him, except another relationship. And truly, he learned to laugh again. In addition to all of that, it was then that God miraculously opened the door for him to become a missionary in the Philippines. And a true life of true purpose. At uh, ito nga po ang kanyang life verse, ang Psalm 27 verse 4. Because it was a truth that had changed his life. A truth of not just seeking him first, but seeking Him only. So this song, ang title po ng awiting na compose niya, it was already translated in Tagalog, Nais kong makita ka. It was uh, written some years afterwards when God had opened the door for him to serve God in San Miguel and Cadraray Islands here in Albay. And he believes that the Lord gave it to him that song and that verse to remind him to never forget what he had said to him so many years ago to seek God above all else until the very end. What an inspiring song story, Pastor David. So, ngayon naman po, pakinggan natin ang Gen Sia First Worship Team as they sing the song, Nice Kong Makita Ka.